let me guess the questions you all were asking yourselves did latif adidi meji actually see her pose in real life um, i don't know maybe it was edited or something yes ogundiji jagun jagun tolugu tolugu um, um Igbo, i don't know you're like that so i can't finish it here you go Ogundiji is a powerful warlord that disturbs the peace of innocent communities and helps the corrupt kings. Like, see this scene where this ordinary guy was about to kill the king. Like, all that woman like axe came from nowhere and caught his hand. And it was at this point I realized that the Yorubas are not joking in this industry. I watched the trail of Kings of Thieves and noticed that Jagu Jagu is an improvement in terms of VFX and story, I guess. The VFX and CGI is something we are still going to discuss later in this video. In the next scene, we are introduced to a vibrant young man, Gotija. He is from a community of woodcarvers and has this special connection with trees. With trees. He is able to control anything that has wood in it. He is powerful here, yeah, but he doesn't have those physical skills, so he went as a recruit to Ogundiji School of Warriors. On getting there, we also Mr. Macaroni and one other comedian. But talking about Mr. Macaroni, I noticed that he is almost he is in almost every Nigerian top-notch movies. He appeared in Kings of Thieves, Gangs of Lagos, and some other movies I can't remember now. Though he doesn't play lead roles, but I'm pretty sure he's going to make his own movie someday. Plus, Mr. Macaroni was not playing in this movie, yo. Like, see the way he sliced that guy's neck now. Necessary. Back to Ogundiji. Ogundiji School of Warriors is where men from weak communities come to learn how to fight and defend themselves from those attacking their villages. Or more. I wear plot twist country like this, so like it actually turns out to be that Ogundiji has been the one attacking their villages and they eventually move themselves into the school of the same person that has been attacking them. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. You see this character, eh? Agemo. Hmm, it's plenty. We initially thought it was a spirit, but Omo, it turns out to be a human being who is under the influence of Ogundiji. Who that person is, is what I'm not going to say, so I don't spoil the entire movie for those who haven't seen it. But um, the story is very mad though. Like I found something on Instagram, I'm oh, sorry, on Telegram. Someone said, good cinematography but poor story. One other person was not like, fear God. Like, how would you say something like that? The story is what kept most of us watching and the cinema cinematography of course. See comments now. This one said, I can watch this movie 10 times. This movie too sweet. I had to watch it all over again today. Very very interesting. Echo Kosi Ogogo Ninu Ereyu. Please forgive my Yoruba. This one said, "It is lovely to see how Femi Adebayo has has shown some level of growth as a producer over the years, from Kings of Thieves to Jack Dragon. This new this new movie is a lot to digest and it deserves its flowers. Hmm, it's plenty. If you are still here." Enjoying this review, make sure you're liking this video and subscribing if you don't want me to call Agemo for you. Now, yeah, we were talking about Gotija and Kito. They first met one night like that, Sha, when Gotija was complaining about how small their food was. Initially, I was already thinking that it was going to be a love at first sight kind of thing, but the next day, they flogged the guy Shigi. Later, Sha, she noticed that the guy was the brave type and the type that would go extra miles for your man. So she started falling for Gutija. So if you like him, doing smash me around women. That's probably why most of us are still single. So little. Something I noticed about this Gutija guy is that everyone that got too close to him ended up dying in his own hands. There is this man, Gogumi, who started to see Gutija as his own son. But guess what? Ogundiji made them fight together. And at the end of the day, Gutija killed Gogumi with his powers. Because if now combat thing, eh? Book me for finish Gotija that day. As time went on, Ogundiji became more worried and gave him another task that he should sleep in a coffin for seven days. Somehow, somehow, Sha Gotija passed the test and was put to another test. He asked him and three other soldiers to go and commit genocide. That is killing of an entire clan. After giving it serious thoughts, Gotija decided to do it and somehow came out of it alive. And on his way back, he meets with Agemo, the masked demon, meaning that Ogudinji had betrayed him and wanted to kill him. 
He was sharp playing hide and seek with Agemo in the forest until he was able to outsmart Agemo and stabbed Agemo. He then removed the mask and found out that it was the love of his life and that Ogundiji has been, ma has been manipulating her and using her to fight unconquerable battles. You know, I was so amazed at the cinematography. Like this scene when Keaton was dying was crazy. The lightning, the sound effects, and their acting was so exceptional. Jagun Jagun and other movies like Gangs of Lagos, Brotherhood, Chief Daddy, Mageto are proof that Nigeria is getting somewhere in terms of movie production. I'll be showing you online ratings and what the general public think about the movie. The movie is being rated 8.5 by the general public, but for me, based on the story, the plot twist, CGI, performances from the actors, Jagu Jagu, The Warrior is a solid 9.7. I won't be narrating the whole movie for you guys, because you have to go and check the movie out on Netflix. Because why not? I'm Igbo, but I have to admit that the Eurobars are doing very well in the Nigerian movie industry. So yeah, I'm Peter Charles, aka the Nigerian editor, aka Wovatech, aka Tchala X. And if you enjoyed this recap or review, whatever you want to call it, and want more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications too, cause on my Vex so now back to back content they come your way. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace.